2001 Alpha 166 Saloon. This is the three litre petrol V6 one, so it's the same engine that's in the Spider and the uh, the GTV. It's a lovely, lo lovely engine, makes a cracking noise. Um, so obviously, as you can see, grey metallic. We'll start by having a look at the bodywork. If we look down this side, you can see it's all nice and straight. Got these lovely, um, I think they call them ellipsoids. These alloy, alloy wheels are kind of like old tele dial styles uh, with four good tyres on them. Loads of tread left on this one on the front. If we start on this front bumper, it does have a small scratch just here. A tiny little chip there where it meets the, with, meets the wing. Wing itself is nice and clean. The arches are good. Around the indicator is nice. Got a very small scratch just there. Coming down this driver's side, all nice and tidy. We've got a couple of little chips where the door's been open on something here. Um, and the same on the passenger door. Well, that's dust, but we've got one there, one there. Very tiny, you've got to get very close to see them. Nice and clean wing mirrors, not, not covered in scrapes or anything like that. Coming down the back of the car, we've got a little bubble of the in the in the paint, just on that rear handle. Clear glass on this one, that's all nice and tidy. It's got this Alfa Romeo um, wind deflectors on the front. See the roof's nice and straight. We haven't done a very good job of cleaning this one, but other than that, it's nice and straight. Nice and tidy, no sort of dents or, or ripples or anything in it. Rear quarter, all nice and clean. Again, we haven't done a very good job of cleaning there. Sack the detailer. But the arches, again, nice and solid. Another good wheel and another good tyre. Round up the rear, you've got a crack in the uh, the corner lens on the on the tail light. The other side's good. Let's say three litre. 24 valve V6, lovely engine, twin exhaust, all that kind of stuff. Both bumper corners are all nice and straight. Got a very, very small little mark there where it's been dented into something. Boot lead, top is nice and clean. There's no sort of ripples or dents in that. Bad badge is a little bit faded if we're going to be picky about it. Around the screen is good, it does have a rear blind, but we'll show you that on the inside. Have a good look at the roof there. Down this side again, nice and straight. This arch, nice and clean again. Another good wheel and tyre. Small mark just here on the uh, rear passenger door. And another one here on this body line on the front passenger door. But it is a 21-year-old car. It's going to be expected. Another good wheel and tyre. Nice and solid. To be fair, for one of these things to survive so long, it has to have been well looked after because if they, they hate poor maintenance, poor maintenance, then they just disappear. That's why you don't see so many of them anymore. Couple of little marks on the front bumper there. But the bonnet itself is all lovely and straight and tidy. The uh, Alfa Romeo badge is missing its colour. That happens quite a lot on this year, Alphas. It's just an eBay job for a replacement. One thing Alfa do better than anybody else for me, I think, is on saloon cars there. I mean, the effort they put into the interiors is fantastic. You've got this lovely bolstered leather seat. It's perforated leather down the bottom. Alfa Romeo logo on the top. It's heated with electric memory. Lovely condition. Tiny little bit of wear on the bolster, but very, very little con considering. Uh, Mileage-wise, we'll, uh, we'll have a quick look at that. We are on, let's have a look. 73,569. We've got all these sort of toys in here. So aircon, uh, navigation, trip, the climate and everything's all on the screen. There's no pixels or anything missing from either of the, of the dials. We'll, uh, we'll pull the bonnet while we're around here. And the boot. And as you continue around, another nice clean door card. Rear bench is lovely and clean inside. There's no sign of anywhere at all in there. Like I say, you've got this rear blind, which is a nice touch. Rear vents and everything, which is quite cool. So it's probably better equipped than the equivalent 5 Series. Backs of the seats are all nice and tidy. The headlining is good. There's no funny smells or anything in there. Massive boot in here. Getting all the carpets nice and clean and tidy. You've got your battery over there on the left. And then it comes with these uh, headlight protectors, which amazing that they're, they're still around. That's really cool. If you side like me and like these things. Look at the, uh, the rear from this side. Backs of the seats are good. They've not been kicked apart or anything like that. Leather's lovely and soft, not shiny. Somebody's obviously spent a lot of time and energy just keeping this car right. Again, this passenger seat, lovely and clean, no sign of anywhere. Electric adjusting, uh, heated, obviously no memory on the passenger side. Have a look under the bonnet. There we go. 
And again, they do look make a good looking engine. He's polished throttle bodies and everything on it. Um, some plastic trimmer on the outside, which is all nice and clean and shiny. It's not faded or cracked. Engine itself, nice and clean. There's no sign of any oil dripping down the side of it. It's not dropping any fluid or anything on the floor. Get it started up. I did briefly drive it down the road because I've not driven one of the V6 versions of these. And it is so smooth. Really nice and just relaxing. Plenty of power. Gearbox is nice. All nice and tight. So there you have it. It drives like a 75,000 75, mile car. We've got some service history with it. If you check the description, we'll, uh, we'll detail what we've got there for you. So there you have it. 2001 Alfa Romeo 166. 3 litre V6. If you've got any questions or you want any more information, just let us know. Thank you.